What's up fellas? Me again, here with all my subframe collection. Well, I figured it might be a good idea, you know, since I have them all laid down like this, to really check out all the other stuff that's going on here, so we can pull out some knowledge out of the situation here. And then, come on. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to tackle is the steering racks ratios. Are maybe some steering racks quicker than others? For those who might be wondering, the steering rack ratio means how fast the rack responds or moves left and right in regards to turning the wheel. So the steering wheel of course comes mounted here and uh, by turning the wheel, like so, you know, you steer the car, <laughs> hopefully. The way we evaluate this steering rack ratio is actually very simple and it's called lock to lock and it's pretty self-explanatory. We start by turning it all the way, one way, and we're gonna measure how many turns it takes to get to the lock on the other way. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm just gonna mark this like so, a little, and just count the turns all the way we get to the lock in the opposite way. So we go one turn, two turns, three turns, four turns, four turns, okay, maybe even more, here, four and one quarter. So this steering rack ratio is 4.25, right? Four and a quarter. Okay, so we are at 425 here. We can mark this here. Don't think we'll be using this though, but still, it can hurt, can it? Okay, moving on. We are at the estate. This is the Ford Sierra estate model. Again, we'll go all the way, one way. This one isn't really turning. I think I might bend something inside here. So this is probably going to scrap, but still we can measure the ratio for scientific purposes, right? Two. Four. Four and a quarter. That's the same. Next, we're at two liter double overhead cam. One, two, three, four. Four and a quarter. The same thing. Okay, now it's gonna get interesting. We're at Fort Sierra RS Cosworth. The first thing we notice is this one has actually power steering. Doesn't really affect the ratio, but still, you know, it's kind of a nice addition. So again, I'm gonna go. Oh, this one is quicker, <laughs> I see. So let's mark here. One, see, it moves really fast. One, here, one and a half. One and a half. A little, a little more than, than one and a half. Just a little more. <laughs> so this, this is a very quick rack, see? In comparison to this one. See, it moves just a little by me turning it like this. This one is very quick. So that's why I wanna use this one. Okay, next we can check at Scorpio as well. And Scorpio Cosworth too. Maybe the Scorpio Cosworth has also a quick rack. I really doubt it though. Okay, Scorpio Mark One. One, two, yeah, the ATF is squirting all over the place. We'll have to clean that up later. Okay, this one might be quicker as well. Okay, let me just pump this out. <laughs> Seriousness of child at play. Let's measure this one again. I think this one might be also a bit quicker than standard. Okay, starting here. One. Two. Three. 
two and three quarters. That means 2.75. That's interesting. That's actually quite quicker than a standard one. We said four and a quarter. This is two and three quarters. Okay, to the next one. Let's see what Scorpio Cosworth has to offer. Some squirting, I'm sure. One, two. Three. This one is three, exactly. One, two, three. Interesting. That's not what I expected. I thought they would be all, except from the RS Cosworth, would be the same slow racks. Okay, in the end we got the XR 4x4. Let's see. I have actually driven this one when I had the Saab turbo engine in the Sierra, but it certainly didn't seem quick to me. One, two, two and three quarters again. And some squirting, of course. That's not too bad. It's certainly still pretty far from the 1.5 Cosworth one, that's for sure. But still, you know, not bad. Not bad squirting. All right, so there we have it. The Ford Sierra Scorpio Steering Rex Expose. Well, the ratio numbers speak for themselves. Here on the base models, we see we have the ever occurring 4.25 ratio. On the Sierra RS Cosworth, we have a stunning 1.5 ratio. On the Scorpio Mark 1, we got 2.75. On the Scorpio Cosworth, we got a solid 3 ratio. And on the XR 4x4, we got a 2.75 to 1 ratio. It is no coincidence that the steering racks without power steering have a higher numbers and a higher ratio. If we were to use a very low ratio as a, let's say 1.5 ratio without power steering, the steering would be very very hard, especially at very low speeds and uh, I don't know on the parking let's say. That's why those ratios are bigger you know and in effect we steer with lesser force. It's not to say that the lower ratio is always better. Of course, this is also a personal preference and short ratios like 1.5 to 1 are really reserved for more racy cars. Another thing, if you are thinking about swapping any of those, you have to keep in mind that if you swap a manual steering rack for a servo assisted one, you have to have the servo system, you know, you cannot just uh, unplug that and just uh, expect it to run because the seals in there will get damaged and overall it is just bad for the steering rack uh, doing it like so. If you were to use it without power steering, you would have to fill it with some kind of lubricant, but that's a whole another story for itself. Another thing, I think you could use Scorpio servo rack on a Sierra because these holes line up perfectly. Of course, this one is a bit wider, so we would have to sort out those uh, tie ends here as well. Just do some research before you get into it. On Scorpio Cosworth, the mounting points are horizontally mounted, so this won't fit a Sierra. Unless, of course, you use the whole subframe. But if you're considering that, watch the subframe video as well. And in the end, we got the infamous XR 4x4 steering rack. This one is also different from all the standard Sierra ones. Because this one is mounted from the outer side. You see? It's mounted here, opposed to these ones that are mounted on the inner side. See? And this one also wouldn't work on a standard Sierra. At least not without some serious modification here. Oh, and another thing. If you like to live dangerously, you can achieve the ratio change effect also by cutting this piece of the hub here and shortening it. What some crazy people do, I'm talking about the drifters here, is uh, they cut this one away and just shorten this piece here. And of course, if this distance is shortened, this will act like a quicker rack. So that's another thing some of you might consider.
It is a viable option, by the way. Many people do it and uh, if it's welded properly, it shouldn't cause any problems. Anyways, that's pretty much everything I had to say about the steering racks here. I hope you got something useful out of that. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Be good!